What's up y'all? This is Jeff and Nicole and welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, we're <laughs> What's up guys? So as you can see, I have no tattoos. None. And Nicole just transformed my entire life into a very androgynous looking boy and I've never, just so you know, I've never covered all my tattoos before. Oh my god, I popped your cherry. You really I did, popped your yes. Tattoo cover cherry. My hymen's been gone since <laughs> eighth grade. But <laughs> we have Lipstick Nick here again and she is back for the third installment of the Androgyny Palette Transformation. <laughs> and of course we did use this today for this very soft boy type of androgyny look. Nicole even went so far as to do lace front brows, mm -hmm. which is crazy, right? They're crazy. When we saw, we went to Nigel's and we were like, I want to do something different and like really realistic with the brows. So we got like movie quality lace front yes. eyebrows and it looked sick they look with the so photo. Real. So if you haven't seen one of the um, pictures from the androgyny campaign, we are recreating it today. So yeah, like we're gonna pop it up right here. Bam. And as you guys can see, I did have a shaved head, which of course is the magic of uh, photography. Um, today we could not recreate that hair <laughs> because uh, Mama spent too much on this hairline to shave it down. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. But uh, we did want to recreate the look with the tattoos covered and the exact makeup that she did on set. I can't believe we're only a week away from the palette finally coming out. One week. I'm oh my so god. I'm so excited. It's like giving birth to a child. I'm like, oh my yeah. god, it's finally here. It's been cooking in the oven. It's your baby. So yes. <laughs> so March 4th, the Androgyny palette will finally be released. You guys can all get your hands on it. And I mean, I don't know if anyone's gonna be recreating this look because I don't know if anyone has this tattoo. <laughs> but if you do, yes. you can do it. But um, all right, we are about to jump into this transformation. And first, we are going to cover all of the tattoos and then jump into the soft beauty and brows. So, of course, um, if you wanna see how we did all this, then keep on watching. All right, homegirl's looking a little rough, but we're about to, well not we, Nicole is about to cover all of my tattoos. And I found this new, well what do you what do you usually use? So I, it doesn't honestly matter to me what I use as long as it's orange. If okay, an cool. orange cream or liquid. I just need a color correct. I've used weird shit. I've used lipsticks Lip yeah, in lipsticks. a hurry. Like, okay. So it just, it honestly doesn't matter, but I am excited to try this. Yeah, so I just found this from Lancome. It is called the, oh God. Tint Adole. Ultra wear. wear camouflage corrector. So for everyone at home that doesn't know or have, has never covered a tattoo, why do we color correct? It's all just all about basically canceling color. So if you look at the color wheel, orange is the opposite of blue. So that's what we're going to use to color out blue. And most tattoo ink is a bluish undertone. And I have all black and gray portraits. Exactly. So, so no that makes it easy, yeah. kind of. There's no yellows or greens or anything crazy. Yeah. Only over here a little bit. All right. Do so it. if you've never seen a tattoo covered before, this is how it's really done. So if you notice, I'm only covering the parts that are dark blue or black, the, the black Yeah, ink. I was about to ask you why. Yeah, I'm not, because this, obviously this is flesh tone. We don't, I'm not trying to color correct anything there. There's no color to correct. So I'm really only focusing on these dark parts. Cool. And so that's why you'll see me leave little little patches. Right. So how's that? Um, how's this working out? It's working good. I like the color. Cool. Yeah, it's really nice. So it's full coverage. That we'll really be able to tell when I do the next step after I powder okay. and go in with the light one. Okay. Cool. So because it says full. Full. It is pretty full, full coverage. Punch, full coverage. <laughs> Hi. He got stuck on that hand, right? <laughs> He's like, I don't like this shit, He's like, uh -uh, girl. I have the exorcist in my armpit in case anyone is wondering what's going on down there. All right, so she's feeling, she's feeling muddy. She's feeling muddy. So what's next? Not for long. Um, we're gonna go with the Carlin Anti Shine Powder. You can use any translucent powder. I wouldn't use like your nice Laura Mercier or something. I would just use like Not RCMA. Man. <laughs> yeah, like something that's like cheap that you can just. We're literally just using it to set. This is just amazing though, and it's very thin, so it's not gonna build up a lot. Okay. So you're gonna see me just set this entire layer. We're ready okay, for we're the, set. <laughs> the brightening layer. So this is like the middle layer. So first it's color correction, then it's brightening, and then it's matching you. 
So this is the Makeup Forever HD foundation. It's full coverage enough, but it's still kind of fleshy. So this it's is not really big on YouTube. Like a lot of people use it. Yeah, I love it. I, that's all I use in my kit. Cool. So it's number one ten. Okay. Um, I guess now it's R220 because they reformulated. Yeah. So now it's R220, and it does have like that still like that reddish undertone to it. So I think it'll still help with the color correcting because red and orange are kind of the same family. So it's still gonna help us in our color correcting, but brighten. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so now I've got my bright step down. This was like super white. It's coming together. It's coming together, looking a little alien-y. <laughs> but now I'm gonna set with powder again, and then on top of that, we'll go in with your shade. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now is my last step. I'm gonna go in and put your color down. Okay. So I'm gonna mix the Y225 and Y215 from the HD sticks. It's a little bit thicker. And I'm gonna use this all over and then we're gonna take it all over your face also. Ooh, okay. Yes, we're getting there. <laughs> so I've been tweeting while we've been doing this and someone said open up your Snapchat and see in this. <laughs> You shady whores. It's looking really real. It's freaking me out. It's freaking me out too. I want to do a layer of powder and then if we need a little bit more coverage anywhere, we can go in and like spot treat, but I I don't think we're going to need to do that, but Okay, cool. We'll see. Yay. Girl, she's feeling hungry. <laughs> Them golden Oreos. We got some snacks. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna go in now with a little bit of the Tom Ford bronzer and just like contour this body a little bit. So I'm gonna use Get your this one. angled brush from MAC. All right. Okay, so we're gonna do something kind of weird. <laughs> um, but we obviously got foundation on your nipples, so I'm going to take it off. And mm -hmm. then we're gonna fill them in with some Rose Matter Liquid Lip. Yes, <laughs> which we did on set we for did. the Androgyny Beauty Campaign. Celebrity skin was too dark. It was too dark, <laughs> yeah. And then Androgyny, obviously way too dark. But Rose Matter was like the perfect. They're getting hard, stop. <laughs> <laughs> so Manny just got here as soon as we got to the nipples. Yeah, perfect I timing. sense the timing. Uh -huh. <laughs> Are you living oh for this? Oh my god, it looks so sick. Just painting on nipples with a little Cosette brush. Uh -huh. They're so little. I know they're baby nipples. <laughs> they're like Summer's Eve. <laughs> so. My nipples are so tiny, they're non-existent really. Really? No, really. There's like an afterthought in my mom's uterus. <laughs> oh, we forgot. Bro, I was like, no. We spent a lot of time on that dick. We already forgot the nipples. <laughs> oh. Okay, so now we're going to highlight Jeffrey's collarbones. We're going to use Peach Goddess. Come on, peach. Mm -hmm. Now that the liquid lip is dried, the nipples look really <laughs> real. Yeah, <laughs> totally. All right, we're moving on to the face, mm -hmm. and we're gonna go in with a little Sicily Double Tensier. I never say this right, but it's the best primer on earth um, currently that I'm using. It just makes the skin so stunning. For foundation, we're gonna use the same ones that we've been using today all over the body just so everything blends in. Mm -hmm. 
All right, what are we about to do? We're about to set your under eyes. With a little La Mer, the powder, the best under eye and face setting powder I think I've tried in a long time. Oh Lord. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with the Tom Ford bronzer and just bronze a little bit. We're going for like a very minimalistic look here. It's like super mask. So I wanna give like a realistic, but still contoured bronze. All right, so, so what are we about to do? Now we're gonna glue your brows on. So we already got one on and I'm using spirit gum. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the spirit gum. Now what's spirit gum for everyone at home that is like, what the hell is that? Spirit gum's an adhesive. You probably, you could find it at like a local Halloween store during Halloween time. But here in LA, we have it at all of our like major makeup supply stores. And, and you can drag use it. live. Yeah, you can glue eyebrows down with it. You can glue prosthetics on. Um, you can do dil dildos. And me and Nicole actually went to a place where you get prosthetics and stuff for movies. And they have these lace front brows and... We died. We died. And this was your first time really putting them on. I haven't had real brows since eighth grade, so I'm just like Crazy. tripping out. Like, How does it look? And it looks sick. I mean, it just looks different. So in the crease, I'm gonna take a little bit of Safe Word on a fluffy brush. Come on now. This look is super minimalist, like I was saying. It's just very, very simple. Is that a Morphe brush? This is a Morphe R38. Okay, work. All right, we're gonna take a little bit of frosting. Come on, frosting. And we're gonna sweep this all across Jeffrey's lid. I'm gonna take a little bit of frosting on this <laughs> fan brush and I'm just gonna sweep it across Jeffrey's cheekbones. All right, now we're gonna dip into Peach Goddess. We're gonna use a little bit of Peach Goddess. We're gonna go right One highlighter it. is never it's enough. It's never enough. Don't play my life like that. <laughs> So before we do lashes, um, I'm gonna take a little bit of this. It's called At Ease, and Ooh. it's brow gel. Okay. Um, or you can use it for like root touch up. It's mostly used in like film and TV, so it's like not like a popular brand, but I get them at my like movie makeup store for like my kit. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that one, the blondest one, and a taupe one. I'm okay. gonna kind of cocktail those, and we're gonna use this almost as like a mascara. All right, time for lashes. I'm gonna use these Ardell Brown Demi Wispies. Never worn these before. I know. <laughs> or like this color before. They're so pretty, but you have to have light hair, obviously. But we lightened your your eyelashes, so it should match. Right. And of course, for our shoot, we have the blonde hair with the shaved side, which we cannot recreate today. <laughs> So for lips today, we're gonna use I'm Nude and Celebrity Skin Liquid Lip. Maybe. So we're gonna take a little bit of I'm Nude first and spread that out in the center. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Last thing we're gonna do is line Jeffrey's waterline with the MAC Pencil and Costa Riche. It's just a really pretty, like, warm brown. So I'm just gonna take that right into the waterline. Last thing we're gonna do is use the Armani Primo setting spray. I'm just gonna take that all over. We can even do the body too. Set me down. Set Ooh, it tickles. Ooh, hi. Hi. <laughs> I can't believe this was such a fun journey. It was fun. Like, it was <laughs> a lot. <laughs> we had a lot of laughs. Manny came over and came halfway in and we laughed for like 20 minutes. My face actually hurts. We all have the giggles we and you're giggle. all tight like with a bunch of makeup on. I like, love it. I'm like, I feel like I just had vaginal <laughs> rejuvenation. <laughs> Again. I'm looking in the monitor, you guys, and I just can't get over it. Like, when we were on set shooting this um, androgyny campaign and, and Nicole covered my tattoos, we didn't really take it this far. We did not. We just went in like the V. Because I wore the suit see. jacket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I also didn't really get to live in the look like we talked about before. Yeah. It was like, okay, we did it. That was the first look. That was the very first one. Yeah, we're like, oh, we'll start with the boy. And then we just had to wipe it all off. Yeah, and then, quickly. And then we yeah. transitioned into the crazy drama that you guys all saw 
earlier this uh, last few weeks, but um, what do you think was the most difficult about this? Uh, not, this isn't a challenge, but like this t this crazy journey. Well, tattoo covering is always a, a journey. Like yeah. it's always kind of a challenge because um, it's a lot of steps. It's a lot of steps, and especially like in all the crevices and stuff. Like you have to set. There's so many layers, and where like. The joints where they move so yeah that was probably like the hardest part but I mean it helps that we're just kind of like here chilling you know like exactly I had a lot of fun me too like usually I don't like sitting for like a few hours but I mean it's with you so yeah it's, it's we, easy to get we're talking we, we laughed laughing. our heads off yeah <laughs> But um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to follow Nicole, she finally has a YouTube channel. So subscribe <laughs> and check out some amazing makeup that she. You're about to. You're about to upload some videos. I'm about to upload some videos. Thank you for doing this. Thank it was you awesome. For having Yay! Me. Of course. Yay. All right, you guys. We love you, and we'll see you on the next one. Mwah. Bye.